Buenos días, querida. I thought you could use oh these. My God. Unless you want to put your wedding dress back on. How did I get here? You don't remember? If I remembered, do you think I'd, I'd be asking you right now? My mind's just a blank. Except for the pounding. Hmm. That's probably because it's a tequila. I was drinking tequila? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. A lot of it. Great. But you had a good reason. When we met up at the docks, you were in a real bad way. <laughs> you okay? Don't you remember? You just come from your wedding, where... Patrick's not-so-dead wife decided to show up. You asked me to take you somewhere where no one could find you. So you brought me here to your bachelor pad? It's a sublet. And you wanted privacy. Privacy? It's the only place in this strange city I knew no one would disturb us. Did we sleep together? We didn't sleep together. In the biblical sense, we... We slept in the same bed, but it was totally innocent. Oh, my God. How innocent could it have been if I had no clothes on? You had the spins. I was afraid you were going to get sick. I couldn't have you rolling around puking in your wedding dress. And you were in no condition to take it off, so... So you helped me? I had my eyes closed. Mostly. Oh, come on. Any, any glimpses were purely unintentional. Hey. Seven, eight, nine. I would never take advantage of you. You know that about me, right? I don't even know what I know anymore. What I was so sure of has been completely upended. I knew Robin was dead. But even though you told me otherwise, I refuse to listen to you. And now I'm paying the price. I should have listened to you. No, you shouldn't have. I'm your ex. I came here trying to win you back, and you told me, you made it very clear you weren't interested, you met somebody else, and I kept right on going after you. I was being a jealous, possessive jerk. You're not a jealous, possessive jerk. No, I can be. I have been. If I'd listened to you, Patrick wouldn't have left me standing at the altar while he ran to Robin, while he, while he kissed her right in front of me. That's my fault. Patrick? What are you gonna do? Come on, Sabrina, pick up. Sabrina. Hello? First off, I'm okay. What? Thank God. What the hell took you so long to check in? I was worried sick. I know, Felix. I'm sorry. I'm just... I've, I was... I was really out of it, and I only not just saw the Nimbus calls. I thought you passed out in a ditch. Well, you got half of that right. I was passed out, but not in a ditch. I spent the night with Carlos. What? I... You slept with Carlos? It's a long story, but no, nothing happened. Unless you count a night of binge drinking and the hangover that follows. What did I tell you about you and tequila? I know. I'll let you lecture me later, okay? I just, I wanted to let you know that I was okay. You might want to pass that information on to Patrick. He lost it when I told him that you were missing. He did? Of course. The man's baby mama might be back from the dead, but that doesn't mean he stopped loving you. Thank 
you. Can you do me a favor? You have to ask? Don't tell Patrick I'm with Carlos. I left a message for Sabrina. I just got a straight voicemail. Who's on the phone? Promise me, Felix. Felix, is that Sabrina? Where is she? Felix, whatever you do, please don't tell Patrick where I've been. Okay? Understood. Gotta go. I need to go. Stay a while. I can't. Come on, talk to me. I can't. But thank you so much for letting me crash here last night. And for taking care of me. Well, I have a feeling you'll be needing more of that. Come on, where are you going? I'm gonna find Patrick. Sabrina. He's, he's looking for me. He just needed time to think. He needed time to build his courage. For what? To tell you what he couldn't tell you last night. What? Your relationship is over. You were so kind to me last night, so why go and annihilate the goodwill that you've built up, huh? I'm telling you the truth. The tr you truth. You just said you should have listened to me. Your truth is self-serving. Undercutting my relationship with Patrick is what not going to bring me back to you. The man ran away from you. It's not, it's not that simple, okay? Yes, it is. Sabrina. There's still maybe something left to salvage. That's all the explanation you're going to get. Don't do this, Sabrina. Don't do this, please. He's going to hurt you again. He doesn't love you. I can't love you. But I do. Your feelings don't matter because I don't return them. Don't you?